Hello friends, in this video, let's see about enum or enumerated data type in LabVIEW. With this data type, we can create a list of string definitions with index value. So first, I am placing an enum on the front panel from rings and enum. And to create a string list, I am doing a right click on this enum and selecting edit items. So that a box is open, here we have to give the required strings under items. As we enter the strings one by one, the index values will get set by itself as 0, 1, 2 and 3. Strings we enter should not get repeated. If we repeat the string, we will get a warning message. And after giving the strings, we have to click OK so that the string list which we have created will get added in this control. To make our index value to get displayed along with the string, again we have to do a right click on the enum control and we have to click on digital display. So now we can see the index value near the string in the enum. And next on the block diagram screen, I am placing a case structure and to its case selected terminal, I am connecting this enum. So that the cases of the case structure has become add and sub. To add the remaining cases, we have to do a right click on this case structure and click on add cases after. So that the multiply case will get added. To add the division case, again we have to do the same thing. To perform all these functions, we have to give two numeric inputs. So on the front panel, I am placing two numeric controls. And these numeric controls will also get added on the block diagram screen. On the block diagram screen, I am dragging and placing these two numeric controls outer to the case structure. And I am connecting these two numeric controls to the end of this case structure. So that two terminal has got created on the end of this case structure where we have connected the numeric controls. Next, on the case structure, I am setting the case as add and inside the case structure, I am placing an add function and to the input terminal of this add function, I am connecting these two numeric controls and then I am connecting the output terminal of this add function to the other end of this case structure. So here another terminal will get created on the case structure. At this terminal I am connecting an indicator to get the output. And next I am setting the case as sub in the case structure. And inside the case structure I am placing a subtract function. And to its input terminal I am connecting the numeric controls. And then I am connecting its output terminal to the indicator. And then again I am setting the case as multiply and inside the case structure I am placing a multiply function. And similarly to its input terminal we have to connect the numeric controls and I am connecting its output terminal to the indicator terminal. And next after setting the case in the case structure as divide we have to place a divide function inside the structure and then I have to do the same thing as I did for other three cases. In enum control, we cannot give any undefined cases. We can only select the case from the string list we have added to it. So in the case structure, we don't have to set a separate default case. We can set any of these cases as default. So first I am selecting add function in the enum control. So the index value is 0. And after entering values in both the numeric controls as 5, I am running this program. Add case in the case structure will get selected and I am getting output in the indicator as 10. And next I am selecting sub function in enum and so the index value has become 1. And now if I run this program, I am getting 0 as output. And after selecting multiply function, if I run the program, multiply case in the case structure will get selected. And so the multiply function will get performed and I will be getting 25 as output. And if I select divide in enum and run the program, we will be getting 1 as output and in enum if we would like to add any other string to the string list we have to do a right click on the enum control and select edit items. Again the same box where we have already created the string list will open here we can add the other strings using insert option and we can also delete the unordered string just by selecting the particular string and deleting it. Here other than edit items we also have many other options like appearance, data type, display format and documentation. Enum is used in state machine architecture and in enum we can avoid spelling errors in string. Since we have already created a string list using case structure we have to just select the string from the string list. 
so spelling errors can be avoided. In this video, we have seen about enum. In our next video, we can continue with another topic. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support. Thank you.